Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.5a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 4 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video. See if you can work this problem out on your own and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So the first thing you probably noticed is that our answer selections, a, uh, a, B, C, and D, in this case it's F, G, H, and J, they don't even want us to solve to find a final answer. We are just looking at how we can represent, in this case, we are representing with a number sentence, how we can represent the problem situation. So sometimes we don't always need to find the answer. We just need to figure out what is going on. So we have Rita, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw Rita, and I'm going to make her a girl, so that means she's going to have a triangle dress. So Rita has got two boxes. All right, so I'm going to put two boxes right here. And in the first box, so I'll just put first, she has 37 large ribbons. So I'm just going to put 37 and then L. And then in the second box, it looks like she's got... 56 small ribbons. So I'm going to put 56. Then I'll put a little S to let me know this is a small ribbon. And then she gave 28 of the large ribbons to her sister. So here's the big key. What are we doing with this 28? If you look at all of your answer selections, F, G, H, and J, they all include the three numbers, 37, 56, 28. They just do it in different order, and they use different operations. But she has these two together and then what we would need to do is we would need to take away 28 for the sister because this key right here when you're giving something away that means we're going to take it away or you're going to subtract so it's not going to give us a keyword like subtract but giving means to subtract so let's go ahead and just take this away here so let's say we've got 37 large ribbons. We're going to take away 28. And just in case we wanted to know what that is, we can go ahead and subtract and that's going to be 9. So she's got 9 large ribbons left. So we need to find the number of ribbons that she had left in the two boxes. Well, she did have 37. She took away 28 to give to her sister. She's only got 9 left. So it looks like she's got the 9 plus this 56. And so if you did want to add 9 and 56, you could do that. So that's going to be 15, 65 ribbons. 9 large, 56 small. But once again, we don't have 65, but we do have a few different options of finding 65. Well, first, what we can do is we can see, can we find something that looks like what we did? The biggest key is can we do 37 minus the 28? So I see 37 minus 28 right here. And then I, I see that it adds 56, which is what we did second. So I'm thinking that G is going to be correct. But we can eliminate F because we don't take anything away. And what we could do is we can start doing some basic math. If F says you add all three numbers. So that's going to be 14, that's going to be 21, and that's going to be way too big. That's going to be 7, 10, 121. This does not equal 65, so that's too big. H wants you to add 37 and 28, so 37 and 28, which doesn't make any sense because we're supposed to take away the 28, but let's go ahead and just add those, see what happens. That's going to be... 15, and that's going to be 65. Then it wants you to subtract the 56. Well, that doesn't make much sense because that means you've only got 9 left. You should have 65 left. And then this last one is 56. We're going to add the 28, and that's going to be 14. So that's going to be 684. And then 84 minus the 37. That might be close. 7, and that's going to be 7, 47. So it's closer but it takes away the 37 and should take away the 28. So our answer is G.